Hi guys, it is Aoife from Proud BC Died Laughing and I'm here to do my Book Buddyathon wrap up. Um, so as you guys know from my TBR, I was doing the Book Buddyathon readathon and my book buddy for this one was Leanne over at Leanne Rose who I will link below. So I got four books in total read during this readathon. I was really happy with how my reading went. Um, and the first book I finished was Evening Primrose by Gopana Maltwa. Um, and this is a very interesting book um, set in South Africa and it is about a young medical student. She's training to be a doctor and she's in hospital and she's just talking a lot about her experiences. She's kind of, it's almost written in a kind of um a flowing consciousness in a way um it's also kind of it's almost like journal except she's not talking to a journal she's kind of like talking directly to god sometimes and um, so she's quite religious as well there are, is some kind of spirituality and religion in this book too there are some um uh, quotes and passages from the bible in this um and we're kind of seeing how she is dealing with um the xenophobia in uh, and racism in South Africa um, and how she is trying to deal with that. Um, she is black, her family is black, um, but she's also seen how there is racism towards kind of um, other people that are coming into South Africa that might be black but might not be South African if you know what I mean. They might be from Nigeria or other parts of Africa. They could be English um, and yeah so she is kind of dealing with that um, and she's trying to figure out a way to kind of maybe help it in some way um, and then some things happen to her. There is um, some trigger warnings in this for kind of mental me like a declining mental health and um, there is sexual assault um and yeah and obviously xenophobia and racism and stuff so um yeah this was a very interesting read as i said it's quite short you can read it pretty much in a day um i did enjoy it um i wouldn't say it was like the best book i've ever read or anything but there was definitely parts of it that did really strike me as quite moving and um, i thought the story was just done really really well the way it was it was quite hard to read at times and um, i liked the ending i liked the fact that it kind of ended on a hopeful note um I, when it kind of seemed in parts that it was going to be quite dark but i do think it kind of ended on on a hopeful note which made me happy um so i gave this like a i think i gave it a four stars probably maybe 3.5 to four stars um but i did enjoy it the next book i finished was the demon's covenant by Sarah Reese Brandon. This is the second book in the Demon's Lexicon series. It is a series that focuses on two brothers called Nick and Alan. Um, they've only ever had each other. Alan is kind of the older brother and he's looking after Nick. Nick is a little bit strange, a little bit odd. Um, he doesn't really know why um, but they are living in a world where there are magicians, there are demons, there are magical markets um, and then they end up helping um, this a uh, couple of siblings called May and Jamie when Jamie gets a demon's mark and um, which means that he is going to be possessed by a demon with the help of a magician and Nick and Alan end up having to help him try and get rid of that and they end up embroiled in this kind of magician kind of war and um, this is the second book in it this one kind of mostly follows May and um, who is the sister in the sibling um, but there's also obviously loads of Nick and Alan and loads of Jamie as well and um, I did really enjoy this I think I enjoyed this more the second time I've read this the second time I've read this and I think I enjoyed it more than the first time I've read it. Um, I think maybe just this story, the first story was fresher in my mind. Um, I just, yeah, I was just, I just really, really enjoyed it. And there were just some parts of that I really, really liked. I love the relationships in this book. I love the fact that the strongest relationship in, the, in the, these, in this series is mostly sibling relationships. And um, so there is Nick and Alan who are brothers and there's May and Jamie and May is the older sister and Jamie is her younger brother. Um, and I obviously, I am an older sister with a younger brother. So um, when I see sibling relationships, relationships with an older brother and a young with an older sister and a young brother that are strong and healthy I really like them because it just reminds me of me and my brother um, and I relate to them more obviously because that is what I've grown up with um, and it's what I'm used to is what I know so I just really really enjoy relating to that that relationship and kind of the protect protectiveness that May has with Jamie and how she will do anything to protect him and to help him and she will always be on his side and um, I definitely feel that way as well and um, so yeah I just really enjoyed this I gave this a four out of five stars really really enjoyed it and will definitely be reading the third one very soon probably in September because um I had plans in September to be reading only follow-up books um, or sequels to books um rather than standalones and first in series because I really need to catch up on some series so that that is my plan for September so hopefully I'll finish off my reread of this um series then the next book I read was The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill this is the one I buddy read with Leanne and both of us ended up quite enjoying this I gave this one a four out of five stars might be more of like a 3.75 um like it would be more of a four than a three if you know what I mean if it was a 3.5 but yeah so I've marked it as four on a good read so this is obviously a retelling of The Little Mermaid a lot of people already know about this and there have been very 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 mixed opinions on this online so far I really enjoyed it I thought that it was very much like um I'm pretty sure it was Hans Christian Andersen that originally 
did The Little Mermaid, I think. Um, but this one definitely felt more in line with the original The Little Mermaid tale with a, like, a lovely swirl of the Grimm brothers um, and no Disney whatsoever. Um, and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the darkness with it. I really enjoyed the reality. I do think the feminism in it or the kind of the message of men are bad and men are tricksters and you can't trust men and men will always lie and men will never love you the way you love them. Like that was a little bit heavy handed and it didn't probably need to be so in your face. Um, but I did enjoy... I did enjoy the world and I did enjoy some of the messages that were in this. I very much enjoyed when um, the mermaid in this, that was Ariel, her name is Gaia in this. Gaia or Gaia, I'm not really sure. I think it might be Gaia actually. Um, I did enjoy that when she met the sea witch and there were some really interesting conversations around like female sexuality and sensuality and um, about um, body image and body size as well because obviously Gaia is in a world where it's very much controlled by men. Uh, the females are very much um, only valued by their appearance, by their size, all of that. Um, and the sea witch is the first person she's ever really sees that is bigger than basically probably like a size zero that is actually you know would be deemed fat um but she doesn't see her as ugly she sees her as beautiful and i really enjoy just her kind of reactions to some of the some of so just of, to the sea witch's appearance and i just really like that um seeing something new seeing that it wasn't as ugly as they were always thought of that you know fat it can be beautiful as well um and i really enjoyed that so i gave this a four to five stars i did really enjoy it um yeah and then the last book i read during this read time was devil and the bluebird by jennifer mason black um and this is really interesting this is completely different than what i thought it was going to be i thought this was like a YA contemporary about a girl who was like hitchhiking around and it kind of was that, but it also wasn't. This is about a girl called Blue, um, whose sister had gone missing a few years earlier. She's living with her aunt. Her mum died when she was younger um, from cancer. Um, so she's decided that she wants to go and find her sister. Um, and the two of them grew up kind of on the road with her, their mom and their mom's singing partner when because her mother was in a band when they were younger and um, before she got sick. So she knows how to play the guitar and she has this guitar that belonged to her mom. Um, and she has a very beautiful singing voice and she ends up going and meeting the devil on this crossroads and she ends up making a deal with the devil to try and find her sister and she ends up basically selling her voice to the devil so she can't speak. So for most of this book, Blue can't speak at all. Um, and she ends up hitchhiking around and there's all these rules with her which with hitchhiking when she's on her way to find her sister like people can't know her real night name if they know her real name she can only stay with them for three days then she has to leave or else something bad will happen to them and um, she can only stay with anyone for up to three weeks and then she has to leave as well um and she ends up hitchhiking around on her on her journey to find her sister and she just ends up meeting all these kind of weird and wonderful characters um, and some of them are like really good and some of them are really good to her and become really good friends to her others are bad and we see why they're bad and we see how she deals with that um, and she's kind of getting closer and closer to her sister and we're waiting for kind of the reunion between the two of them um, and all kind of through this journey she's not she's not just finding her sister she's kind of finding herself as well so it's mostly like a journey of self-discovery for blue um and it was just a really nice novel it was a really sweet novel and um, i thought it was quite lyrical the descriptions were beautiful um yeah i just really liked it and i just really liked the kind of the thread and magical realism that was in it as well um and yeah it just took me by surprise and i really really enjoyed it and i gave it a four out of five stars so that is everything i read during the book buddy and now i am in the middle of book so you'll be guys you guys will be having a reading vlog and a wrap up for that um at some point next week so i will see you guys then thank you guys so much for watching as usual leave a comment down below with anything you want to say